people, great dear friends, lovers of freedom, all over the world, the indigenous people of Biafra, all over the world, I use this opportunity, this time, this moment, to say hello, good morning, good day, good afternoon, and the good evening, depending on your time zone, wherever you are. I just want to say a little thing, you know, concerning what is happening in our land. Last night, <laughs> it is reported widely that the zoo, the Islamic Republic of Nigeria, the zoo army, has been killing our people once again at Omoa here, <laughs> our land, where our great leader, the supreme leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Mazi Namdekano, is, and they have decided to take the battle to our land. They have been killing our people. They killed our people at Ozobolo. And the William Biano, he came out in a swift move to tell the whole world that those that were killed <laughs> were killed because of a business that went wrong far away in South Africa. And they mentioned one man uh, who built the Catholic Church where the incident took place. And uh, from all indications, this man has arrived, has been in, in the zoo since the day of that incident till now. And he has visited those that sustained uh, injury that are still at the hospitals, and he visited those bereaved families of the dead, and he confirmed that a total of 13 people were massacred in our land, and that was a terrorist act, you know. What is happening in the Islamic Zoological Republic of Nigeria is something that every sane human must not keep silent on these issues because what is to come will be very very great the whole world will feel the impact we have to sound this note of warning because we have continued to tell them that life means nothing to us anymore we all beer friends all over the world. <laughs> we are like the living dead. We are already dead. And we are just waiting for these people to do what they are planning to do. Muhammad Buhari, the pedophile, the certified Islamist jihadist who has continued to strive to be the president of Nigeria, of the zoo Nigeria, just because of the hatred he has for the people of Biafra. And we will settle that score. Biafrans of this generation, <laughs> we are not afraid of anything. We don't want money. We don't want fame. We don't want material things. And I assure you that this war will be worldwide. The indigenous people of Biafra, we are stationed in all over the world, every country of the world. If anything happens to Mazen Namdekano, <laughs> every, every Nigerian working in any, in, in, at any embassy of the world, <laughs> they, will, they will feel it wherever they are. They, they let them not think that they are going to do what they did to our people in 1967 to 1970. <laughs> 1st of October is next month, and we are waiting for the ROI youth as they have already issued their notice. <laughs> and we don't, is, we don't issue notices. They are not seeking 
for a land that belongs to the uh, to the Sokoto Caliphate. They are not seeking to restore Biafra with the inclusion of a Yoruba land. What we seek for is our land. A land of our ancestors. The land of our progenitors. And this Fulani from Futajalo Mountain has consistently tried they are possible best to continue to enslave us because the British, the colonial slave masters, they gave them the key of colonialism when they read the census prior to 1960 of their useless flag independence. Muhammad Buhari, Buratai, Lawal Daura, all these criminals, we are watching you all. We are watching you all. And we are ready. North Korea is just here. America couldn't contain North Korea. How much more Nigeria that is <laughs> a useless contraption? We are watching you people. Rochas Okurawosa. Okay, Zé Victor Ikwazo. Willie Obiano, the drunkard. <laughs> we are we be our friends all over the world. We are not we are not joking. We are not joking. We are not joking. Buhari. We are not joking. We are watching from all corners of the world. We are watching and we have followed the United Nations laid down procedures for the attainment of self-determination, which is under Article 20 of the UN Charter. There is no how you, Muhammad Buhari, the pedophile, the terrorist president of the zoo, you will go to the United Nations and tell the world how important it is to respect the aspirations of the Palestinians and the Western Sahara Wayan people. But when you come to home and you go to Daura, you issue warnings and tell your army, your criminal Boko Haram in army uniform to go and slaughter their friends. Muhammad Buhari, you have children. Muhammad Buhari, you have relatives. Muhammad Buhari, this war of this generation, 2017, <laughs> when you come again in your next life, you will pray to your useless Allah to never to join you with the Biafra people. Biafra people, we may, you may think that we are we have nothing, but we are like the Davids of the biblical period. We are going, we are going to surprise you, Buhari. We are going to surprise you, Burataya. We have already, we have already initiated a legal suit against you in this in the United States District Court. But every option is open. <laughs> we will take the war to you, Buratai and Buhari, and the Lawal Daura, Daura, the illiterates. These are a bunch of criminals that they have given power to exercise upon the people of Biafra. And we have said that we will never we shall never be part of this evil contraption called Nigeria anymore. It's a useless entity. A place where mediocrity is preferred rather than merit. A place where you say someone is educationally less privileged. And I ask them why is someone 
educationally less privileged. Am I God that created the person? Won't you strive like others and they? <clears throat> Muhammad Buhari, this is the last warning. Burataya, this is the last warning. Okay, Z Bazo. Pito B, you killed our people at a zoo, you drop you dump them at a zoo river. Fulanese, you have been killing our people since 1945. All you criminals, you have occupied our land, you have sent our men to exile, you have chased away our girls, our women, you have sent your Boko Haram army to extort money at checkpoints in our land, Boko Haram Buhari. You are drilling our oil. Nobody knows how much you are taking from our land every day. We have liquefied natural gas in our land. We have crude oil in our land. We have every resources because of the occupation of the Islamic Zoological Republic of Nigeria forces. We cannot enjoy what the Almighty has deposited in our land. And you want to lord it over us? That we must be part of your evil, useless contraption called Nigeria? <laughs> Dear friends all over the world are very, very, very ready, Buhari. <laughs> you are still battling with the Almighty Chukwo Kikabiyama. And Chukwo Kikabiyama has been telling you in your coma to leave these people <laughs> and you don't want to listen. Buhari. Buhari. <laughs> Buratai. The criminal. The evil army chief. Buratai. <laughs> we are coming. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry, their friends are coming. Their friends are coming. And as we have said, we, are, we continue to tell our people that we must boycott every election. No matter the intimidation, no matter the mind game the Islamic Zoological Republic of Nigeria is playing, we must remain resolute. We must boycott every election in Biafra land. Let us complete the cycle of obeying international laws. As soon as we boycott every election, <laughs> if Buhari won't bomb, we will give him bomb. And we will be justified under the law for defense for self-defense. We must abide by every command from our great leader, Mazin Namdekanu. Let us boycott this election. Boycotting of an election does not in any way connote disrupting an election or stopping an election. These people, they should take this message to these criminal police chiefs. How do you see it that every part of Biafra land is occupied and headed by an army or police chief from the Fulani extraction? Our land is under occupation and we must fight with our blood to make sure that we extricate ourselves from this Islamic conquest. We must not continue to live outside the shores of our blessed land of Biafra. We must boycott this election. Whoever that wants his future, the future of his children, 
should advise everybody in Anambra to hearken to this call for the boycott of Anambra election. This is the only task that you have to do as it stands. After the boycott of the election, then we will be free to defend our land. We will be free to defend our land. We will go home to fight. Buhari, we are going home to fight. We are not afraid of anybody. We are only afraid of the almighty Chukoki Abiyama. Buhari, we have never shot a bullet. And the zoo has fallen. <laughs> Buhari, you will be nowhere to be found when we decided to go to the battlefield. We are a multi-dimensional fighters. We have everything. <laughs> Buratai, what is coming? <laughs> Buhari, what is coming is bigger than you. What is coming is bigger than any man. Biafra. Biafra. Buhari. <laughs> the dice is cast. The dice is cast. We level the zoo. What happened last night at Omoa here is painful to every Biafran all over the world. We have taken enough. The day of reckoning is here with us. Buhari, Biafrans are angry. Buratai, their friends, are very, very disenchanted. Okurawusa, Okurawusa, your days are numbered. The other day they met you in London and they spared your life. The next time, wherever it is, on this earth, Okorawosa. It's only one life, but you must go down. 